Hello there. Um, this is a late Valentine. Wow. Uh, four months, and I'm doing this in July. Yes, yes. Wow. I think the reason why I did not do that because I was in different project with my YouTube videos, and not only that, I was pretty busy. So we gonna talk about some Valentine stories, kind of like my Christmas stories, and my Thanksgiving stories. They talk about things I did, and like you know. The, the holidays and stuff like that I am so excited to make a valentine type of story and stuff like that it's gonna be great so um <laughs> my story for valentine is I remember last year or even this year I usually probably make a probably make a like a picolage for um, valentine I usually like pick characters I really like and put them as like Valentine cards, and yes, you actually see in my um sh YouTube shorts, and they're very cute. They're very cute and sweet and stuff like that. And I really liked it. And I remember giving it to my friends. I still have these paper to this day, and they're so cute. And also, sugar cookies on Valentine's Day are really good. They're so good. Like I remember my school. They have like a batch of cookies and it's just so delicious. Like Valentine should be love and stuff like that. You can love your family and friends without being, you know, too sexualized a bit. But I think Valentine should be like loving your family and friends. Then it's like, oh, I'm gonna date my boyfriend and girlfriend. Not all about that. It's about loving your families and friends and loving them and giving them gifts and stuff. And I also um try to learn Spanish. Yep. Yep. What I learn what I learn about Spanish is that Spanish is a it's it's a very it's a very beautiful language while also it's a lot it's 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 a lot with um with you have to be very careful of what you're saying with I you and we type of thing but oh no it's really fun and also the words like when you spat when you speak in spanish with the word is exactly what it sounds and it's really nice and also i realized that english is, is a lot harder than spanish if i learn spanish instead of learning english it probably a lot more easier than learning english but still english and spanish it's both beautiful though and also you look in the background. <laughs> actually, I actually made this um this chart from this cool Spanish book, and I actually really liked this Spanish book. It was actually was really cute and nice, and also was fun. It's called like the Rebel Two book. That was really fun. They got some fun activities. I really wish um a lot of Spanish teacher take time with that instead of like giving us some online assignment instead. At first, like engaging with your students. And taking time with reading a Spanish book, where it's like say, oh, just do it yourself. I think teachers should do that. But to that, it's just my opinion. I think having you learn as your own, and having yourself learn things, and having to yourself learning by reading a book or learning about a video, rather than having a teacher do that for you. And it's just my opinion, because you get like free time and stuff and not only that it's on your time and stuff and it's a lot more easy than having a teacher teach you all day and it's a lot boring but when you let yourself learn it's a lot better and it's a lot fun like let students learn what they want then learning stuff that they just not into or just bored because that's why they have bad grades because they're not passionate about it and also, the mission of like the land live action versus the Little Mermaid live action. I noticed that the Little, Mer Little Mermaid live action get more advertised than the land live action, in my opinion, because I noticed that Little Mermaid live action gets so much dolls, get so much posters, get so much makeup advertisement. Like, you name it. It's just, it's just crazy. Like, 
while Aladdin live action, you just see toys, you just see the artwork, but you don't see that much artwork as the Little Mermaid live action does. And it just confused me. It's like, I don't remember Aladdin live action get advertisement that much. I remember the Little Mermaid live action get more advertisement. And same thing with Little Mer- the same thing with Cinderella advertisement. And I remember C- Cinderella live action version of it. It got advertisement a lot. You see it everywhere, like dolls, posters, pictures, dresses, like you name it. And it's a land of live action. It's like, it's a mixed bag. But Shuba said, these live actions is not that bad. I actually like it. It's not amazing. But I'm happy that we get to see a, a different experience. Like a land live action, a little mermaid live action. Happy my favorite one by far. But I do heard that a lot of people don't like being the beast live action. But it looked beautiful though. It looked really nice. <laughs> yeah. I am thinking about making veggie VeggieTale videos with Esther and Sweet Pea, Sweet Princess Pea and stuff. I would think about making a video about it because of showing the difference between like Esther being a good one or Sweet Pea, Sweet Princess Pea being like the mid one, being like a mixed bad. But I heard that a lot of people don't like it. And I think myself wow it's pretty bad it just kind of hurt my feelings because sweet pea princess pretty pea looks so cute she's so cute like she looked way cuter than elsa like how you say elsa like she look creepy i'm sorry she looked creepy like sweet pea princess like princess sweet pea is a lot more pleasant and she's a lot more cuter. But I'm I think about making the video. I'm thinking about making the video though. Making a music video. Um, of course. It's not like a music video like <laughs> weird music videos that have a weird plot. No. It's just me playing the playing piano and it's just me just like, you know, playing it and have a cute picture flying and stuff and also my dolls is dancing with the song that'd be kind of cute I-, I would definitely would do that that'd be absolutely would cute because i definitely like little mermaid songs and a land song probably i'll pick a land song and a little mermaid song songs i will pick is part of your world for little mermaid and a whole new world from Aladdin, definitely, I will definitely make a video about that, but I'll put it in my other channel, I'll put it in my other channel, because, well, you know, my other channel is a lot cool and stuff, it's not a lot cool, but it's a lot more relaxed. Hooray, I'm gonna make a fan fishing. That's right, we're gonna make a fan fishing, and the fan Fish in this tile, Blue Beer X Princess of Cobbler. I am not joking, but without the X, but I'm not joking. The reason why I did like that because it's like a young kind of like Bluebeard, got like a Bluebeard relationship, and it's literally is like, come on now, or a guy this day, a teenager be a bit creepy, and it is creepy. Like, come on now, we already know that like, 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 is creepy. And of course, I make a fan fiction of bud, and we're going to talk about what the story is and what the plot is. So, I am so excited to explain this. The plot is about Yum Yum trying to look for a boyfriend. And of course, the name named Friends came in there and said, Oh, your boyfriend is waiting. And you're like, oh, sure. Well, no, it's not a boyfriend. It's somebody that waiting for her. And it's of course a zigzag. Yay! That creepy guy who trying to kiss a teenager. Yay! <laughs> and yes, this moment is less creepy. And it's more like uh, like an uncle and a, and a niece relationship more. And also it's a lot cuter in the story word version. And also, yes... The best part of it is when they watch the Bluebeard fear and when they watch a show for it 
that was really cute. I was I I really liked that moment, and then the scariest moment is when, yep, when Zigzag telling her is like, oh, do you want to go to my tower? And like, sure. And of course, she looks some rooms and stuff like that. Look, his bedroom, his bathroom, his kitchen, all kind of room, even his living room. And then the stirring part is when you go to his jet room. And of course, it's Tat stuck in there being prison and being abused from Zigzag. <laughs> yes, it's, it's, it's sad. But it's a lot more dramatic. It's a lot more this Tat full of tears and full of trauma and stuff like that. It's, it's, it's dramatic. And also, Yon felt bad and said, oh, here's some cash. And then Tad, and then Yon and Tad is going to the restaurant and the shopping. And I would not tell you this, I would not spoil you, but it's, it's a lot of fun. It's not amazing, but it's just a fun fan fiction about this movie. And also the weirdest part, no thief, no thief. I will think about adding thief in there, but Faith is just causing the plot. I wish the character caused more of the plot. Uh, like, Zip that should, should cause the plot a lot more, though. But it's still fun. It's still fun.